be a researcher and not teach, what's the point? Of course, to teach without knowing anything, what's the point? So they go together, and that's the way it's supposed to be. He has this unassuming way of putting everybody at ease. And he does this in what we consider a funny way, because he, whenever he asks you a question, uh, he'll begin by expressing that he knows nothing about the particular subject. And of course, keep in mind, this is John Ishiyama, and he knows something about virtually everything. It's interesting because everyone has these different ideas for the papers that they want to turn in at the end of class, and he has something to say about every single person. He knows at least a little bit about everything, and it's, it's pretty amazing, actually, to watch him. My impact is on my effect on students. I know something that they should know, and then with that knowledge, they can do whatever they want to do. So frankly, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to be the next Henry Kissinger. I don't think I'm going to be the next great policymaker. I have no intention of doing that, but I, I will. I like teaching. I like having students learn. A lot of people who get to the place where he is at in the profession, you know, with all the research that he's done, being editor of the top journal in political science, a lot of times you find people who are that accomplished being kind of arrogant and I've never detected any of that from John. He's just the same kind of down-to-earth guy that I knew um, and had fun talking with back in graduate school 34 years ago. He still has the same infectious laugh. <laughs> you know, this is what I thought. Like, what would I want people to say uh, on my headstone or on my, uh, you know, uh, my urn where my ashes will be, you know, after I'm gone? I, well, I, I would like people to say he was a nice guy, period. He's caring instructor, he's a creative teacher, he's a creative researcher, uh, he's inclusive, and uh, I mean, he's John Ishiyama. <laughs>